boys and girls. I'm so glad that you're back with me again for some more fun in Kids Club today. You know what's so special about today? What is it? I can't hear you. You got to be a lot louder than that, especially for me to be able to hear you through these screens. What's so special about today? Huh? That's right. It's Easter. Easter is a wonderful and exciting holiday, especially for those of us that know Jesus, because it's a celebration of Jesus' resurrection. It's a celebration of Jesus coming back to life. And I bet every one of you know what these are too, don't you? Right, they're Easter eggs, right? And what do you think I'm going to find if I take one of these eggs and I open it up, huh? What do you find inside Easter eggs? Go ahead and tell me now. Yeah? Okay, yep. Very cool. You know, you find all types of stuff in Easter eggs. You find uh, candy in them. You can find little toys in them. You can even find money in them sometimes. I wonder what's inside this egg. What do you say we open it up and see what's inside this egg, huh? I can only imagine the good stuff I'm going to find inside this egg. What? Look at this. My egg is empty. Now, an empty egg, that doesn't really make you want to shout for joy, does it? I mean, you certainly don't want to jump up and run around your room and go, Ah, I found an empty egg! Yay! You're not going to be picking up a phone and, and texting all your friends or calling your friends or, or running out and telling your friend that lives across the street, Hey, guess what I got for Easter? I got an empty egg! You know, there's not really any excitement in finding an empty egg. In fact, if you were to find an empty egg out on an Easter egg hunt, you would probably start thinking that maybe somebody already beat you to it and took the good stuff out of it, right? Somebody just stole the stuff that was in it. Well, I have an empty egg for a reason. Anybody know what that reason might be? See, my egg is empty because today is all about celebrating empty. It's all about celebrating empty. We should be overjoyed at finding this egg empty. Because it's a great reminder that this was the day that when Jesus' friends went to his tomb to properly care for his body after he had died, they didn't find a body. A matter of fact, to their complete surprise, all they found in that tomb was a burial cloth. I'd like for you to look up and follow along with me this morning. Mark chapter 16, verses 1 through 7. Once again, that's Mark chapter 16, verses 1 through 7. Saturday evening, when the Sabbath ended, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome went out and purchased burial spices so they could anoint Jesus' body. Very early on Sunday morning, just at sunrise, they went to the tomb. On the way, on the way they were asking each other, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? But as they arrived, they looked up and they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled aside. When they entered the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in a white robe, sitting on the right side. The women were shocked. But the angel said, don't be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead. Look, this is where his body laid. Now go and tell his disciples, including Peter, that Jesus is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there, just as he told you before he died. 
Now, I want us to just to think about what I just read there, or what we just read together this morning. You know, some women who were Jesus' friends went out on Saturday night and they bought all the spices they needed and all the all the ointments and oils that they needed to prepare Jesus' body for burial. And they get up early on Sunday morning and they go to his tomb and they're instantly, as they're, I mean, they're thinking as they're walking along, who's going to roll away the great big stone that's in front of the cave that is Jesus' tomb? That might be a problem for us getting into that tomb today. However, when they arrived, much to their surprise, the stone was already rolled away. And as they go into the tomb, they look around and they find nothing but a burial cloth. Jesus' body wasn't there. And did you hear what they did next? They instantly thought somebody had stolen the body. It was only after an angel appeared and told them that Jesus' body had not been stolen and instead he had rose from the dead and left the empty tomb before they ever arrived. But they realized what had happened, that Jesus had come back to life. And this made them really happy. It should make us really happy too. So today, you're probably going to see a lot of different Easter eggs. But I want you to remember the most important Easter egg of them all. And that's the one that we talked about that was empty. Because it reminds us of the good news of an empty tomb that first Easter morning. It reminds us that we should be just as happy as those women were that morning when they found the tomb empty. Because Jesus has come back to life. So as you celebrate Easter today, I want you to remember to get excited about the empty tomb. Because it means Jesus has overcome sin and is back alive. So let's celebrate the gift of empty today. Okay, boys and girls, let's pray. Father, I thank you so much for today. I thank you that your son returned to life. And on that first Easter morning, that they found an empty tomb, just as they had been told about. Father, help us to be as happy as those women. Help us to celebrate an empty tomb today. Help us remember what Easter is really all about. We love you and thank you for loving us. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, I'll see you next week for some more fun in Kids Club.